Welcome back to another vlog. We're here at AVS. We're waiting on everybody else. There's a lot of people here, but I don't see any familiar faces, but that's okay. Uh, since Horse Thief Mile, I unloaded the car, didn't touch it. Then about 24 hours ago, I found out that there was gonna be a spare ticket for this event, bought it, added some oil, threw the fenders on, and then now we're here. So <laughs> I really hope that uh, there's nothing wrong with the car. I'll probably do a semi-small bolt check, but other than that, I'm gonna air down these scrubs from Horse Thief Mile, send it, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll try to go a little slow considering I don't know how grippy the tires are gonna be. They're kind of worn out, but the little E30 that could, man, we're ready, we're ready. All right, so we just got teched. Got the sticker for this event. What does it mean? I don't know. But the dude looked at it. He said, sheesh, and then handed me a sticker. So <laughs> let's go get some practice runs in. I'm not going to record. I want to feel the car, warm up a little bit, and then I'll start getting some clips in for you guys. So apparently, it would seem that <laughs> the whole morning, all my drift clips were recorded in a time lapse mode. I didn't know I don't know how to salvage these clips because there's already no audio and the frame rate is really weird when I slow the video down so enjoy this weird bocce run uh, <laughs> I'm so annoyed that it happened but it is what it is you know just YouTube of things I'm still gonna include all the runs that I recorded I'm just gonna have them in this weird frame rate super fast forwarded and I'll throw music over it have fun Everything was cold. Tires were cold, my brake pads were cold, so it was super sloppy. And I can feel the Kendas were super cold as well. I am running scrubs, I understand that. I kind of lowered the PSI to 28 cold, so they're probably sitting at 35. I might lower them a bit more, but I'm struggling to do a clutch kick on entry. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, but if I can get my entry down, the rest of the laps are gonna be good. But also, for the first time ever, I have uh, driving gloves, and I don't think they're super cool for uh, leather wheels. It's kind of a little slippery, I got a death grip it, but I got the LZ gloves. They, they fit nice, man, I, I love them. <laughs> they're awesome, shout out Adam. But uh, started overheating the car, started spraying a little bit of sh 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 cooling everywhere, but it's all good now, look at this thing. Ooh. Sorry, she's probably gonna shits on my car, but whatever. All right, we're gonna get some GoPros in and uh, let's start doing more laps after this thing cools down. That last lap, I broke something and everyone was telling me it was an axle, but Little do they know, I'm custom faded, and I broke uh, I broke the Heim setup. Now, that's where I want it to break, right? That's exactly what we want happening, but now it's gonna be a true test if like the thread survived. I'm gonna have to unbolt everything, take it all out. I have new Heims, and hopefully I can like screw them in. We'll see how long it takes me to do it on track. I've never done it, so it might take me a little bit, but uh, I'm just happy that it broke there and not like, I don't know, a busted coil or something, because those are expensive. So, on track fixes, put to the test. Let's see how well it goes. Take out the axle, take out everything, just so I have less weight on the control arm, so I can like control it and then put in the new thing. I've already disconnected the coilover, all that good stuff. I noticed that when the Heim joint broke, it pulled the axle boot too far back, so I'm gonna have to put a zip tie how normal that is but we're gonna send it <laughs> all right ah! on track fixes john ah! big wiener over here he ended up uh helping me out this is exactly what we want so the heim snapped now if you guys remember or actually i don't know if i 
recorded this, but I have some soft steel and I was running that both sides, bent it when I tested it. So then I moved over to stainless, but only the driver's side is stainless. So now that I broke the soft steel on both sides, both sides are gonna have this stainless and it should be a lot stronger than that, in theory. So I was struggling to break this loose over here. The locking nut was just like way too on there. Um, I'm gonna see if I could install this without removing it over there, cause that is a pain in the butt. But I'm gonna try to throw this back in, see if it works. And if it works, we'll send it. I got the Heim off. Now we're gonna put the new one in. So this, and then this goes in here or this. I just realized I wasn't running, can you guys see it? My external mic, and uh, hopefully there wasn't wind noise, I don't know. But the car's all put back together. It took me exactly from the last clip when I parked the car to now, was exactly an hour, and I got it all good to go. Um, it's This is obviously the part that takes long. Everything else is like five minutes, but we got it on, on track, fixes are proven to work. I'm hoping those Heims last a whole lot longer. Again, this was like that soft steel crap, um, but I'm ready to go. Alignment is on a yes. It's aligned, <laughs> hopefully, I don't know, but super stoked, man. An hour of just wrenching at the track compared to just going home. I'll take that all day, every day. If you guys remember, wait, did I post that video? No, I didn't, because I didn't have an external mic. It was all windy. Um, this has happened at this track where I broke the DTM kit and then like I'm SOL, you know, and it kind of stinks. So it works. <laughs> this is great. I'm going to go back out there and see how the car performs. All right. So we're finally done using the scrub tires from last event. And I just threw in a brand new set of Kendas. My first two laps should be kind of crap because I mean, when you're breaking in new tires, that usually sucks and they're all nice and slippery. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not even gonna do the entry really. I just need to heat up my tires. Let's go. My coolant, it's a little orange. It's all right. Oh shit, why is it not cooling down? Bro, I'm like 130, what's going on? That's not normal. I'm gonna just turn off the car, what the heck? Why are you not cooling down? Why are you like this? Stop it. 
I don't know what the heck's going on, but after the fresh pair of tires and breaking them in, those last two laps were freaking awesome, man. On-site track fixes, everything I wanted this car to be, it's doing it, so that's awesome, man. Once this stops doing what it's supposed to be doing, um, I'll let the car really cool off and then we'll send it with more laps. I'm a little concerned with that, man. That's super weird. I was reading 130 out of my gauge. Huh. So looking back at all these clips, I realized that I should have aired up my rear tires so much more in PSI. I have too much grip and it's overpowering the front grip. And so I don't know why it didn't occur to me to air up the rears way, way more. You can kind of see it here, the nose of the car. I turned my wheel, but you know, the rear grip overpowering front grip, wherever the nose of the car is pointing, my car kind of goes in that direction instead of where the wheels are going. I should have aired up my rear tires. I, I keep messing up every single run. I know it's super sloppy. Uh, I, I need way more seat time for sure. that uh, grip ratio that I'm struggling with it's causing me to hydro and almost every single corner which you know I'm trying to hydro a lot less and again I, I don't know why I didn't think about raising the PSI my laps get better as a uh, tires got warmer because the air PSI went up as well and man it's so annoying that when you, you realize you know all your errors when you're watching everything in post you wish you can do that you know while you're at the track but taking mental notes so for next time for sure i have to run maybe about 40 psi cold or 45 and then see how the car reacts and then go from there and start playing with it all right i don't mean to be redundant with the camera angles but the car <laughs> i'm just enjoying myself man the car's the car is great the car just does car things now and i broke it and fixed it like what more can i ask for man like ah oh, this is so great yeah, that's why i didn't do that holy shit the car's still kind of hot low key hot the car's still kind of hot the yeah we'll probably get like two laps <laughs>
forgiving at all in my temperature. Fuck no, dude. It keeps your temperature high. Yeah, because I, I can't I can't drift in third or anything like that. I gotta stay in second. I'll try a third gear entry. I've been fucking I've been fucking up my downshift for some reason. But we'll we'll try it right now. What is he doing? reason the car started overheating again which why is my car overheating man why is it overheating man I, I probably blew the water pump or something because it's heating up way way too fast I don't run a thermostat no thermostat no but anyways it's a it's an LS who cares I'm just losing water but anyways I did break something we're running that stench nation fitment but again I'm joint broke it was my fault when I I, I transitioned a little too late, came off track. If I would have just not throttled and just like, you know, let it go out, um, it wouldn't have broke nothing. But because I stayed in throttle, hit the bump super hard, it ended up breaking it. I'm not worried about it because I know that the fix is 40 bucks. So easy peasy. This car's freaking great, man. This car's such a ripper. That last lap, that entry was probably the best one yet. Didn't miss second. Went from, I, for whatever reason too, I'm struggling from going to third to second. That didn't happen. But, ah, dude, such a good car. Good car. And it stopped leaking. Look at that, it heard me. <laughs> Let's go. So, I just realized I didn't close out the video. It was, <laughs> I feel like the car is performing like really well and my driving is not up to par and I'm not, uh, I don't know. My driving needs to like step up for sure. I need more seat time. I need to get used to on the setup because technically I only have two track days under my belt with this new setup and the car feels completely different uh dry the driving gloves i was wearing they were really really slippery on the steering wheel so i need to figure out a way for my gloves to have grip on the wheel because at the moment i have to death grip to just try to like hold on for dealer life i don't know if footage is gonna like transfer over on, on how that is but um yeah driving with gloves was definitely not the smartest move but I mean, it's good, but I, I'm just not used to it. I never drove with gloves before. But other than that, car's freaking sick. Car's awesome. The tire wear is freaking awesome. I just, I, the car is amazing. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, I just hope I can make a decent video on this, you know? But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're doing the Heim joint setup on your car. I'm more than happy to guys help you guys out with whatever you guys got going on. Thanks for watching. Peace.